Can you imagine being in a room where there is no doors and windows, there is no source of light and noise, there is total darkness and silence? That is exactly how our brain is situated in the darkness and silence of our skull. Yet we know the magical powers this 1.5 kilogram of mass known as the brain situated in our head does for us. I'll tell you a fun fact about our brain. It constitutes only 3% of the body weight yet it requires 30% of the blood that is pumped by the heart. It is comparatively important and deserves a lot of attention when compared to other seemingly important areas of our body. Given the centrality of brain to our lives, why do we as a society, you and me, think so much less or talk so less about the brain? Instead, we prefer celebrity gossip and reality shows. I am myself a culprit in this. If you have ever pondered over these questions or right now if you are thinking about this, I can be help of help to you here. Listen me out for a couple of minutes and you can decide better for yourself if you would want to invest your money in this book, The Brain by David Eagleman. Hi, I am Priya. Welcome to my channel, O Priya. I am a new member to the booktube community. Prior to this video that you are watching, I have just uploaded two more videos, the link of which I will be giving in the description box. Please do check it out and please join me on this journey. Give me a lot of suggestions and feedbacks and if you like my content, please do consider hitting a like button and subscribing to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. And so about this book, the book is actually, I got this book for around 400 rupees. Uh, from Amazon and then it consists of 225 pages of content and the language is easy. Okay, the book is divided into beautiful six chapters and the book starts with the very fundamental question, who am I? That is the first chapter. If I were to ask you this question or you were to ask me, what would we say? Who am I? What would you answer to this question beyond the basic gen... Uh, our name, our biological details, gender, nationality, occupation, relationship, all these labels that society frames for us. What are we beyond this? Who controls us? What is reality? Is there a concept of free will? Are these amazing questions to think about? These are exactly the titles of the chapter, each chapter. And if you want to know answers to these questions, you will find it exactly in this. The author has started the book by explaining that our brain, the human brain is born pretty much unfinished. If you have read Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari, even uh, Harari is talking about this in his book. David Eagleman here is talking that uh, the human brain is uh, comparatively not developed when it uh, when a baby is born. Uh, for example, we take almost one year after birth that we can stand on our feet and yet two more years to completely being able to articulate our thoughts and many many years till we can fend ourselves. We are very much independent on our uh, parents. Uh, uh, compared to other you know members of the animal kingdom uh, yet yet this because of this delay in cognitive development yet hu human beings or sapiens have to cover every ecosystem on this planet how how does that exactly happen w what transpires what 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 is uh, what is the reason for this conquer that we are able to conquer over every and every animal kingdom if you if you are intrigued and excited to know about it do give this book a try you will not be disappointed i'll tell you why exactly why i like this book there are basically two or three points why i like this book firstly this book is for everybody i mean even kids can read it high school and above kids can read it adults like you and me can read it even how our brain transforms during the old age uh, you know how can we prevent certain diseases like alzheimer's etc we even old age people can read it everybody can get something out of it this book okay the language is pretty easy and that is the first point and second is the author is actually avoided any kind of technical terms out of it the book uses absolutely no tech it is not that if you are from a science uh, background or from a non-science background you, you are absolutely 
okay to go with it for example if you were to uh, know about cosmos and black holes and universe and if you happen to pick a brief history of time by stephen hawking then definitely you must have certain background for physics chemistry and bio, uh, mathematics to understand what you know the author is trying to put forward in the in that book however with this book with the brain it is not a prerequisite anybody who is genuinely interested in the topic and who is literate in english can definitely follow everything the author or the doctor is trying to portray so if you uh, are for a change looking for a self help book or an educational book non fiction type uh, then do give it a try that uh, this book is an amazing read you will not be you you will definitely enjoy the read and if i were to say something i, I don't like now that i am a professional booktuber in the youtube community then i'll tell you this that uh, the the later part of the book that is the last say 25 to 30 pages of the book was kind of a slow read to me which is otherwise the book is a very fast paced read but the last 25 to 30 pages was quite difficult for me to read that's personally because of me because the the last chapter is dedicated to you know how a human brain will be evolving over the next 100 years and the uh, author has put forward many ideas like um, is our consciousness the consciousness that we say the word consciousness the concept of consciousness being can is it possible to upload and download it can our brains be uploaded and downloaded uh, like we upload or download a software or uh, digital immortality and all these concepts he's talking about how, how you know we are going to advance for the next couple of decades but uh, it's purely i couldn't digest all this it's purely because of my lack of imagination and i don't know how future is going to unfold itself for example if you were to tell me you know if i were born 100 years back and if you were to tell me something like youtube is possible i might probably not believe you so that's totally up to me that okay na this is not possible i had that feeling over the last 20 to 35 pages but yeah overall the book is a good read i give a big thumbs up please uh, go forward and pick up pick this book and read and if you if you have already read it please write to me in the comment section what you feel about it uh, yeah that, that's all uh, i have to talk about the book so yeah give it a try and let me know in the comment section i'll be waiting for your wonderful comments so see you next week have a happy reading experience take care bye